Every time I post something about a new roundabout on my page, you'll see a litany of complaints from people saying they designed them all wrong. They're not big enough for semis or uh, trucks pulling a trailer to get through. And comments seem to suggest that they think that maybe the mayor and the dog catcher designed the roundabout on the back of a napkin or an envelope during coffee. And they handed it to a contractor and said, hey, build this however it works for you. That's not how it works. Uh, roundabouts, whether you like them or not, are designed by traffic engineers who do a lot of studying and research into what makes an intersection work properly. Uh, they go to conferences and detailed studies are done after roundabouts go in where people look at them and watch the traffic moving through them and they try to record how to make them better. So I thought I'd point out a couple of design elements of a roundabout that seems to escape a lot of people that might help explain why they are the size they are. Um, if you look on the outside of the roundabout, that is a sharp curb. And that sharp curb tells your car tire, don't go up on here, because if you do, you wish you hadn't. Now, if you'll notice the curb on the inside of the roundabout, it's very soft, it's very low, and it's been reinforced underneath so it can withstand the weight of a heavy truck that might roll up on this inner apron. And the whole point of that is, is the truck can roll up on that inner apron and get around the roundabout. Now, if they actually made the roundabout big enough so a truck could work its way all the way through this asphalt area, they would be buying more houses, tearing them down, cutting down more trees, consuming more land to make gigantic roundabouts. So they've done this in a pretty efficient way to make it so that trucks can get through these without bumping up over a hard curb. 